Okay, so hopefully this won't be such a too too long a video. So this is my current project I'm working on. Uh, I am um, refitting, re-renovating, whatever the word is, uh, this old uh, focus base um, from the good folks at Kramer. So this is the this is the neck, and the purpose of this video is just is just to demonstrate how I'm going how I'm going to finish the neck. So um, what I've done with this neck is I've, I've sanded off the original finish on the neck um, and actually there was a few dinks and knocks, this is quite, this is quite an old uh, instrument, there's a few dinks and knocks there so that's sanded down, that feels really nice now. And I've sanded down obviously the back of, of the headstock but I've left, I've left the finish and, and uh, all the watermarks of the original there um, so folks can see what the original base was. Um, yeah, and this this neck is finished at four hundred grit sandpaper, so it feels pretty nice. But uh, it hasn't got any finish on it. Um, now, usually, if you're going to do a finish, if you're in the states, you'd probably use true oil. And there's lots of videos on YouTube um, of folks dem using true oil. Um, I'm in the UK now. You, I have seen you can get true oil on um, eBay sites like that. But in the UK, we've got a secret weapon because we have got the good folks at Crimson Custom Guitars. Okay, so this is their um, finishing oil. This is a brand new pot I've bought from their website, but still, uh, still sealed. Uh, so it's really nice. So it comes in a nice sealed pack like this, uh, in a, in a well packaged box, um, and obviously in a, in a in a steel can. So that's that's pretty nice. And I'm basically going to um, then just just go down and then just just apply this to the back of the neck and the back of the headstock. Uh, as as they recommend, um, yeah. So I'll just quickly dem demo that. That shouldn't take too long. Um, and I'm just making the video because the guys at Crimson Custom Guitars they say, you know, let us know, let us know how, how you get on with their product. So hence this video. So by the power of editing, I will see you in the workshop. All righty, here we are in the workshop. So we have our we have our neck. Obviously, it's taped off. The old painter's tape there. And we got our finishing oil there. And what I think is Ben from Crimson Custom Guitars, he recommends using, uh, or I've seen him applying the stain with just some paper towel. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing as he's done. I've got my gloves on. And then what he does, which he reckons also the we website recommend this, is using some 1200 grit uh, sandpaper to then, after, after you've applied it with the paper, then to finish it off. Um, with this, so with with the 1200, so I'm going to do exactly exactly that, um, and just and just and just see how it goes. Okay, I'll take it. I've I've, I've taken the uh, the plastic thing off. Give that a little bit of a shake, and I'll just move that camera down. So, you, I mean, this is this isn't the most interesting thing in the world. This is this is filled right to the top, so they're not they're not skimping. And let's just let's just let's just give it a go. Now I don't obviously I'm I'm right at the um, I'm right at the uh, heel joint, so I don't need to go all the way in, into this. Um, so obviously that's going to it's obviously going to be set into the uh, into the body. So there we can see we can start seeing so unfinished. And then we come to the first the first, and you can already see it starting to catch the lights there. The light down in this, in this in this workshop isn't the best, but yeah. Hmm. Okay. So when I've seen Ben do this at Crimson Custom Guitars, he sort of really. He really, he, he, he sort of. Uh, he, I've seen him pour pour this stuff on if he, if he's doing a body, but I mean I've got. I mean, there's not a lot of really. There's not a lot of wood here, so I'll just quickly. I don't think I need to be pouring this onto on, onto the wood. And I'll just do. I've I've, I've finished off the edges of, of of the headstock, so I'm just going to go and quickly do the edges as well. What? And then, yeah, okay, so ah, uh, yeah, try and get all the bits and bobs. So 
So I may just this. I, I don't want to. I want the neck still to have a kind of satin feel to it. So um, I won't be putting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of coats of this stuff on. I'll maybe do two or three. And he also Ben recommends that um, you remove the excess uh, oil after after it's sort of uh, sat for about sort of ten minutes or so. So I'll set my timer on my phone and just come back and uh, wipe off the excess. I probably won't record that because that's um, not really interesting. I'm guessing because this is the first coat onto just onto sort of just the, the finished wood. Um, most of the the, the finish is going to is going to drink into the into the wood, or the wood's going to drink most of the of this finish up. Okay. I'm a little worried to be then going in after I've, after my paper towel. This thing. Let's just put the lid on. Lid on. The oil. This this kind of seems like it's quite a harsh harsh treatment, but there we go. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it as recommended. What it's seeming to do is take off some of the shine. Sort of, sort of makes sense because you, you know it is a it is a sort of sandpaper. Okay, so that's where we are now. So it still has it still. You still say it's 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 it's, it's is it yes. I don't know whether I'd say that's catching the light more or less than the finished. Anyway, as I say, I don't want it to be too glossy. I want it to have a nice satin feel, so it doesn't need to be sort of. I don't want it to be reflecting a ton of light. Um, yeah, I think that looks a bit better. I think after two or three more coats, that could be good. Anyway. So let's leave this um, for sort of 10, 10, 15 minutes, go and have a cup of tea, and then we'll just, use it, again using the paper, we'll just wipe off um, uh, any, any of the finish that, that hasn't, that hasn't uh, gone into the wood. Okay, that's all for now. Alrighty, so 15 minutes have elapsed. I was just upstairs prepping the video, so what I'm just going to do now is then just give this a quick wipe over to any of the oil state that hasn't um, still on the surface, just it will get wiped off. And apparently this is an important step. There we go. So this is this is a real good job. So that's where we are now. So obviously the observant among you will see that the massive dink there, uh, where the wood is split. So I fixed that with epoxy. Um, but hard, yeah, find it tricky to then hide the sort of the scar line there. The tuning peg will, will, will hide some of it there, but um, yeah, it's a battle scar, a proud, proud battle scar. Okay, so I'm just gonna not touch that now. So I'm gonna, according to the bottle, according to the bottle, according to the bottle. Uh, until tacky, then rub off the excess of clean cloth. Leave to cure for two to four hours. I'll leave it for uh, before applying the next coat. Okay, so I'm basically going to um, set the timer here uh, for. I'll give it the max four hours. Um, won't touch this, uh, and then I will come back and do some. I'll probably do like one or two more coats. I'll see how see how it feels uh, to the touch. Um, and then yeah, I'll, I'll I'll grab either some video or some photos of uh, of the finished um, finished results. Okay, see you later. Okay, so it's now um, 
the next day. Uh, this has now had um, three coats, so three sessions of putting on some of the finishing oil, leaving it 10-15 minutes, wiping it, um, leaving it to cure for four hours. So it's had three coats. And this is the final results. Now it's, it's, it's now night, so I've, I'm just, uh, there's, there's no natural light coming through the window because it's gone dark already. So, yeah, and this, the, syn the synthetic light in this room is not maybe not the best for showing this. So what I'll maybe do tomorrow before work is take some photographs of this outside in, under natural light if it's a nice day. Um, and maybe just, just add those photos onto the end. Um, but I have to say... Um, I think it looks really nice. It feels really nice. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like it would be at all tacky uh, when you, you, your hands are sweaty. Um, so I think, yeah, it does still have a bit of a hum to it. Um, but I think that'll probably well that'll subside over time. But I'm very, very, very happy with how how that how that's come out. So um, so the crimson guitar finishing oil, thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Now the next job for this is, is, is as you can see, there's the, the the nut was actually damaged when I bought this. Um, so I'm going to take this tape away, and I'm in the process of of, of, of uh, um, prepping the nut for this. So it it it's um, it's wide enough that it fits in the slot, um, but it's sitting too high. So um, I just need to do a whole lot more sanding uh, for the nut then i think once the nuts in this oh I, yeah obviously put the uh, put the tuners back on but this is 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 getting ready to be a, um close to being a finished instrument um so yeah so that's my video for the crimson guitars um finishing oil cheerio